The new recoil changes with patch 14 has majorly shuffled the pecking order of weapons this way, and of the many that rose to the top, one stands out as going from what was considered one of the worst guns in the game to one of the best budget, if not the best assault rifle that Tarkov offers. The Org. The Org is an Austrian made rifle that went into service in the late 1970s by the Austrian army under the name Sturmgewehr 77. The name Org itself stands for Army Universal Gewehr in German, which translates roughly to Universal Army Rifle. The original version of the Org comes with a 1.5x telescopic sight attached to the receiver. In Tarkov, the Org has a recoil of 46, which is only one more than the lowest recoil you can get on an M4. To make it even crazier, the Org cost a fraction of the cost of what it would take to build the M4. Why spend half a million when a sub 100k gun can do the same thing, possibly better? The earliest you can get your hands on the Org is from a barter trade by a mechanic level 2. It costs 2 electronic components and 2 spark plugs. As of writing this video, that comes to about 50k, which is about the same as buying it off the flea. So all in all, it's a pretty inexpensive gun. A journey with the Org starts with the A1 variant. I didn't bother changing out the 1.5x telescopic sight and just added a suppressor. The total cost? Somewhere in the ballpark of 90k. The stock optic on the Org has a pretty interesting reticle. It's just a black ring in the center. In the real world, it has been referred to as the Donut of Death. The design of the center ring is actually pretty cool, and I've linked an image to how it can be used across various different ranges in real life applications. However, this is Tarkov, and in Tarkov, you put the enemy in the donut, and click. I hope there's no third. Bro, what are these guys doing? I don't see anyone at the window. What the fuck? That's Sanitar. As I got into resort and rounded the corner, I faced the firing squad of Sanitar's guard. Not someone I thought I'd even run into until now. Sanitar still alive. The real shitty angle for me. Now remember what I said earlier? Put enemy in the donut, then click. Yes. Well, that's exactly what I did. I'm not kidding. It's really that simple. Sanitar's loot was probably the worst I've seen, so I took the little he had and went to grab my quest item. He has no keys on him? Dude, that's just sad. Holy my heart. Grab that. I 
this PC. Egg. My extract this raid was Road to Custom, so I decided against going to cottages and just make it out with what I had. Very nice, boys. So that's a good raid. Holy 18k. Sanitar. With most of Shoreline out of the way, and slightly shaken up by my unexpected run in with Sanitar, I decided to head to Woods for a chill raid, and to grab my blood sample next to Medcamp. I also forgot to turn off my camera this raid, so you can have a face cam for this one. Okay, there will be no ads for the next hour, so you guys are chilling. That is a Bitcoin, boys. Underrated spawn. Underrated spot for loot. Oh, and if you didn't know by now, you should definitely loot Sunken Village. There's quite a few rare item spawns in the buildings, and if you want to loot Wood Guide, let me know. Yeah. Oh shit, hold on. I nearly fucked that up. Yeah, that should have been way cleaner, but hey, at least we made it out alive because it was a bit too close for comfort. I'm in a bad spot. I should not be in here. What happened here? It's a scav. For us. Oh God. Another morphine. 
I need to go. Wait, I have 14 minutes left. I thought I had enough too. Oopsie. Let me grab this med sample and we can get out. a long raid i didn't expect to be in here for this long just like casually strolling through the map woods is probably one of my favorite maps in taco so i decided to just go back in question is does someone spawn to my left lucky there. My plate ate the round and it didn't pin through. My plate just ate a shot. The shot sounded like it came from around the sawmill area, so I decided to flank around and try catch him rotating towards my original position. Probably in a horrible spot, but thankfully he missed and my shot connected. Once again, put enemy in donut and click. The donut of doom strikes again. What the f Thank you. I appreciate your gratitude. I'm gonna go dump my helmet and put the ULAC on. Maybe in this bush here would be good. I didn't really have anything quest-wise to do on this map, so I decided to do my normal woods loot run. Except, it was cut short. A little worried, I'm gonna get one tapped here, but... Fine, we'll be fine. Oh! I did call it. I did call it. As great as a donut optic is, the limitation is pretty apparent. At longer ranges, there is some accuracy that was to be desired, especially on a map like Woods. With Peacekeeper level 3, I can change the upper to add a rail, allowing for the addition of optics and tactical devices. So I added a Bravo red dot combo and went back into Woods. a good spawn. That seven's already bound to my morphine. Question is, are there any scavs here? A 
gonna start looting. Maybe someone will come this way. There's one more. Yeah, I think there's one more. There's one more outside. Now, a lot of guns feel good this way with the new recoil, but man does this gun feel extremely smooth with a red dot. After taking out all the PMCs around me, I folded all their loot into my bag and headed towards the car extract. My thinking was it would be a lot safer taking the car than crossing the other spawns towards outskirts. What the hell? Once again, quite heavy. We had a slick wait. Oh. Nice, dude. What was that? There was three people. I th no, it was four, right? Four people just at med camp. Almost like surrounded. And there was another two scares on top of that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I missed one. I grab maybe a sugar spawn here. Do you not hear me? If you aren't convinced that the AUG is better than the Meta M4, well, I just killed a guy with exactly that. Yo! Go ahead and 
insurance fraud real quick. He bugged? What? Also, did you see the bullet ricochet off the ground? Okay, he's just bugged, I guess. If he turns around and shoot me, I swear to God, I'll be pissed. I wonder if it... Okay, you know what I was thinking? I was about to say, I wonder if anyone extract camps outskirts because it's so fucking common and there is a guy prone over there. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> like, I was, I was thinking in my head, I wonder if like, because people camp interchange. I was like, I wonder if people camp outskirts because it's like the most common extract and i look around and there is a dude prone on the floor i don't know if that's a scav or not but if it's a pmc no it's a scav okay i was gonna say getting extra camp by scavs though <laughs> it's a for hold on i have by the way by the way look at this i have 45 vertical he has 57 and this gun probably costs double mine the suppressor on its own costs as much as the gun. 100k, 200k, 300k for the rest of the part. It's like a 300k gun. This is about 150k. And look what ended up in my stash. At this point, my confidence was at an all-time high. I've basically just been breezing through raids with a gun that pretty much costs nothing. Gear fear? What is that again? I was pretty close to level 40, and also close to finishing the quest Living High is Not a Crime Part 2. With two teapots short of completing the quest, I decided to do something I've never done before. Custom safe runs. So, I bought some dorm keys and headed in to try find some teapots. Dorms is a scary place for many people, including myself. So many people tend to avoid it. But that kind of works in our favor here. I'll either die to a chad that would kill me no matter what, or it'll be completely empty. Lucky for me, it was mostly the latter. What's the bet someone's there? <gasps> Tip off. Fuck. I need to get out. Yeah, I kinda got a dorm, so if I die with this teapot, I'll be very sad though. This game is so shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, did this guy jump out the window? What is this? Teapot. Oh, I need that.
My journey with the Org has been quite remarkable. Its ease of accessibility at a low cost helped bridge the gear gap that many of us face when encountering a high level player. While high tier ammunition like M856A1 may be out of reach until level 4 Peacekeeper, Yo. a few well placed rounds of M855 or SOSD to the head, neck, or upper thorax, where armor coverage is minimal, can take down even the most formidable opponent. Furthermore, the standard optic on the AUG is not just serviceable, but definitely proficient, rendering the rifle a viable choice from the moment you have access to the fleet. So, let my little adventure with the AUG stand as a beacon of hope for all players, irrespective of their level, reminding us that with the right tools and determination, victory is within everyone's grasp.